Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about rigid body equilibrium analysis. So a rigid body, unlike a particle, has the potential to have both linear acceleration, or translation, uh, and an angular acceleration with rotation. Uh, so a body in equilibrium, however, uh, is not accelerated in either fashion. Therefore, the sum of the forces must be equal to zero, as well as the sum of the moments must be equal to zero. So both of these are vector equations, so we can break these things down. Uh, if we look in 2D, so starting with a particle, we had some of forces in the x and some of forces in the y. We broke our forces into x and y components um, and summed up all those components. So we had those, and we're simply adding a, a moment equation in here as well. So we've got still got forces in the x, forces in the y. Now we're going to have a moment equation in 2D. All right, so now if we jump over to 3D, uh, what I'm going to add uh, is now I've got some of forces in the x, some of forces in the y. Now I'm going to have z components as well. So I've got my three dimensions. Uh, and for my moments, I've taken what was the moment about the z direction. So the clockwise or counterclockwise rotations were about the z axis pointing out of the page in 2D. Uh, and they can not only rotate about the z axis, but I also have moments potentially about the x-axis and the y-axis. So here I've got six equations uh, of equilibrium in 3D. All right, so what is the process we're going to use to generate all this? Uh, so the process for uh, solving for unknown forces, unknown directions acting on a body in equilibrium is as follows. We're gonna always going to start by drawing a free body diagram uh, with the body with all known forces, distances, angles, uh, all kind of unknown forces in there as well. Where from there we're going to write out the equilibrium equations for the sum of the forces in the x and y directions. So break all of your forces, known and unknown, into x and y components. Add up all the x components and set that equal to zero for one equation. Add up all the y components, set that equal to zero for the second equation. So next we're going to choose a point to take the moments about. Uh, so, and this we can choose selectively. So, if you've got a number of points or a number of forces that come together at one point, you might want to do that, uh, and that way you don't you have less um, variables in your moment equation. Uh, so, after you choose your point, you want to take the moment of all forces about that point. Uh, so, if it's a known force, it's going to be a known force times a known distance. If it's an unknown force, you just leave the force as an unknown times usually the known distance in there. So you're going to have a number of moments, and you're going to sum all of the moments about that point and set it equal to zero. So this is going to be the sum of moments is equal to zero, uh, or the moment equilibrium equation. So after you have your uh, forces in the x, forces in the y, those two equili force equilibrium equations, and now you have your moment equilibrium equation, you've got three equations. You simply solve the equations for any unknown values. Uh, this should give you three equilibrium equations, which means you can solve for up to three unknown forces, uh, or really any three unknown values. So it could be a magnitude and direction. Uh, it could be the magnitude of three unknown forces. Um, any three unknown values you can solve for with your three equations. All right, so if we jump to 3D, it's going to be more or less the same process. Uh, we're going to draw a free body diagram with all of the known forces, distances, angles that are important on our diagram. Uh, from right there, we're going to write out the equilibrium equations for the sum of forces in the x, y, and z directions. So we've got three force equations now. Uh, from there, we are going to choose a point we are taking uh, all the moments um, about. Uh, same thing, if we have a point where a number of forces come together, we might want to choose that point. Uh, and from here, we can use R cross F calculations if that makes it easier. So if it's a real complex problem, you want to use R cross F, which will give you a series of moment vectors. So whatever the case is, uh, you're going to get a number of moment vectors uh, that might have some unknowns in them. So take all of the X components of those moment vectors, add those X components of the moment vectors up, set that equal to zero. Same thing with the Y components of the moment vectors and same thing with the z components of the moment vectors. Uh, so here you're more working with uh, moments that are going to be about all sorts of different axes. Uh, so you have three moment equations, moment equilibrium equations that you can work with. 
Once you have those values, you can solve all six equations for any unknown values. Uh, six equations with up to six unknowns is a, a tall task, so you might want to use computer tools uh, if it's going to make your life easier. And uh, that's all there really is to it. So we've got up to six equations and six unknowns. Uh, the sum of the forces and the sum of the moments is going to be equal to zero. Make sure you draw that free body diagram, uh, and that is our process. So that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.